Hey everybody, this is Green Tea. We're here for the book signing cocktail party. Jackie Hebner's first person cat. All you feline friends, Kendall's is going to be co-hosting today. And maybe we'll get somebody to play him a special cat song. Hey, I'm Kendall's. You're watching Green Tea with Tamara. We're catching up with Ed Losey, and I tell you what, you're putting on a fantastic event tonight. Tell us about Jackie Hebner. Well, Jackie Hebner is, uh, beside a philanthropist and an interior designer of extraordinaire, this is her first book, and uh, she worked very hard on this. And uh, Kelly Lang, the former newscaster, was a motivator for her. It started out as a class project with Kelly Lang, who was my teacher. And I thought I was just going to take a little book to class and read it, and, and maybe she'd say I had possibilities. And the next thing I knew, I was writing a mystery, and it turned into this. It's a labor of love, but it is a great murder mystery. You know, it's about a, a cat. It's written by the cat. It's a, from the cat's point of view. Tiff is a cat with nine lives, a thousand senses, and a whole lot of attitude. Ah, so it sounds like the perfect Beverly Hills character, doesn't it? Oh, you better believe it. You know how we women are. And she wears lots of diamonds all the time. Where can we find your book if we want to find it? Well, you can get it through uh, Amazon.com, Borders, Barnes & Noble, or just go to the website, FirstPersonCat.com. And I understand that a lot of the proceeds from your book are going to animal causes. They do. They go to, uh, they go to Cats Incorporated, which started out in the studios and they also go to the Dream Street Foundation which is a wonderful charity for children in Beverly Hills. Well I think it would be such a glamorous Hollywood Beverly Hills movie don't you think? Yeah, a tortoiseshell per Persian cat who wears diamond necklaces from Rodeo Drive, David Webb, W-E-B-B. And I heard that the kitty drank Perrier. <laughs> Perrier, caviar, the whole thing that's you know and the book is great it's right. it's yeah, Kendall's is getting a little appetizer tonight so a little hors d'oeuvres passing around Kendall's yeah. I'm glad you bought Kendall's yeah Kendall's is happy to be here he really digs the piano by the way what else do you have in store tonight Ed well Tippi Hedren is uh, said that she was gonna dance on top of the piano but I don't know <laughs> she's the queen maybe the a cat. little later right yeah, yeah. yes you know it's a cat Catching up with Tom Mesero, Michael Jackson's former attorney, and I just have to say I love your green tie because here at Green Tea we're all about green, going green, and the environment. And I wanted to ask you my famous green question: okay. What does being green mean to you? It means uh, it means natural, it means honest, it means sincere, it means real. Uh, it's a great color. Right. And so, what brings you out tonight? Do you know Jackie Hebner? I met her first time tonight. I uh, wanted to talk to her about her book, and uh, it's a great event. Very honored to be here. All right. And what else do you have going on in your exciting life? Uh, plenty of cases, plenty of people in trouble. That's how I make a living. <laughs> right. In fact, we talked to an actress here tonight that had a pretty dark side that you might want to know about. She's the one on The Young and the Restless. Would you please give her my card? <laughs> We're catching up with Brenda Dixon from The Young and the Restless for 13 years. And what are you doing with yourself these days besides looking gorgeous? Well, I'm going through a very, very, thank you for saying that. I'm going through, we are the two girls in pink, by the way. You have to know the pink is in this year, okay? It's pink tonight. <laughs> pink is not the new orange. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am going through a very highly publicized divorce on my website, www.brendadixon.com. You have to watch it. I just want a huge, overwhelming, landsliding decision uh, for my $5 million divorce case. So I'm very, very happy. What does being green mean to you? A green means a lot of things. It means um, conserving on energy, uh, recycling, conserving on water, um, just being very aware of our environment and appreciating it. That's what green means to me. All right. Are you going to get a copy of First Person Cat and read I it? I have one. There it is. It's a sign out of my... There it is. Have you got it signed? I, we did have it signed. All right. Well, enjoy the book, and it's so great talking to you guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Have a great time tonight. Lovely, with your fur so soft and your tail so cute, I must buy you one a brand new suit. Himalayan. Beautiful cat. I love this cat. All right, now Kindles and I are catching up with Carla Ferrigno tonight at this wonderful holiday party for first person cat. Yeah. Do you know Miss Hebner? No, not yet, but I'm going to because I really liked your book. I read it. Oh, you read it? Yes. Okay, well, that's great because we wanted to talk to somebody who read the book. So tell us a little bit about the storyline. 
Well, the kitty knows all the secrets to the kill. And there's a there's a death involved, and she knows everything. And I love how she the, the kitty gets get like she knows everybody, and she's very intuitive. So when the when the police come in, she knows who's good, who's bad. She's so cute. Hey, cat. You know what's nice about cats? They don't shoot you. They don't bad mouth you. They respect you. They eat, and they leave you alone. Right. If the world was like the cat, we'd be living in a better place, right, yeah. Kitty? Look at, look at those. Kitty. What brings you out tonight? Well, I just came back from taping of a show, and my friend Ed Losey invited me, so I figured I'd uh, catch up, have a drink after a long day, and look at the cats. Since I'm a Leo, I love cats. Oh, so. you're a Leo. So a tell Leo. tell us about your show. Well, it's for True TV called Smoking Gun. That's just one show. Now I'm doing my own reality show, but I just did that, taped that all day. Matter of fact, I did a show that you did a commercial on. What's that? I forget what it was, but you were with some other guy talking about something having to do with sports or something. It looks like an old commercial. Yeah. So our paths have crossed well, said, in the television I said, world. I tried to meet her at a bar on the show. We're catching up with Chelsea Gilligan, Miss Teen USA 2009. Yes. And understand you just gave up your crown. What you been doing since then? Um, you know, my modeling career has been um, blowing up right now. I've been doing so many campaigns for um, Express, Kohl's, um, Ogle, OPI, so many. Um, and I'm just starting to get into the acting world. So I'm taking acting classes and getting some uh, some um, some offers for some series. So it's going to be good. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling that you're going to do really well. And it's so nice to see you here tonight. And I wanted to ask you my famous green question, since okay. this is green tea and we're all about the environment. And green is so gorgeous, and of so course. are you. What does being green mean to you? Being green, what does that mean to me? Um, that means helping the environment, obviously, because we want to go green. Um, <laughs> cutting, cutting back on you know water when you're taking a shower, turning off the lights, recycling. And I have to say, I have been cutting off my water, not taking hour showers. Cut it down to maybe three minutes. Wow. which I've been doing. That's which a is, big difference from an hour to three minutes. It is, especially because I'm a girl, too. And what I can you get done in three minutes? Come on. <laughs> Not very much. Fight the night away. Get to here tonight. It was a fantastic cocktail party. Everyone was buying books. We know you're going to love your copy as well. You can find it on Amazon.com. It's Jackie Hebner's First Person Cat, and Kindle's was a smashing hit. And we all share the same vision of hope, healing our planet Earth. Yes, you know, it's a cat. You're lovely. With your fur so soft and your tail so cute, I must buy you one, a brand new suit.